Hello there. How would you like to learn how to validate a color detection IP block within the Vivado Design Suite? I'm John Petrus with MathWorks, and today I'm going to talk about getting started with the Avnet Ultra 96 development board. This is a four part video series, and today's focus is going to be importing IP and validating within Xilinx Vivado Design Suite. Here is the project workflow that we talked about in part one. The blue arrows on the top represent major stages within the project. And the black text on the bottom represent the names of products and the companies that make those products and offer them. Today's focus is going to be elaborating the design. So taking an IP block previously validated within Model Composer, bringing that into the Vivado Design Suite and making sure it's going to work for a specific hardware architecture. So I'll cover an overview of Vivado Design Suite, how to import an IP block, how to create a top level design, and how to run validation. Then as a summary, I'll talk about what we've learned, where to go for more information, and I'll provide a preview of video number four. Vivado Design Suite is the main design tool the target design links FPGAs. It's where you can accelerate your high level design, verification and implementation. If you wanna learn more about Vivado Design Suite, here's the main product page on the Xilinx website. There's a good deal of documentation, some educational videos, and a spot where you can download an evaluation copy. So let's go ahead and start up Vivado. Create a new project. We will accept uh, most of the system defaults. And again, since we're going to target the, the Avnet Alter 96 board, we'll find it in the menu. And there it is. And we'll hit finish and it will create the project space for us. So this is Vivado Design Suite from Xilinx. There's a flow navigator spot on the left column. In the middle is a general workspace in Canvas, and on the bottom part is where you get messages from the system. So we are gonna import an IP block. We have to add a repository first to do that, and we have to tell it where to find our file. Here's our file path. We'll select that. It brought in one block. So we'll pull that up, search for it, and there it is. And next we'll create a block design. And we'll ask it to add color detection block and there it is. So the next thing we'll wanna do is right click on these and create uh, inputs and outputs. And we'll check out Axie Stream for the format and we'll do that for each of the IO you see in the uh, IP block symbol. So this is what it looks like when we're all done. We have inputs and outputs and signal names connected to each terminal on our IP block for color detection. So we'll go to color de detection and tell it to generate output products. And then next, we'll add it to run create HDL wrapper. We'll let Bovado manage that. And you can see that step ran OK, and you have it up here in our block design summary. So there's two more things we need to do at this point. We'll need to validate the design. No errors. So it's telling us this net list is OK and good to go. And we will run a behavioral simulation using the test bench from Model Composer and we'll let that run. And it looks like that 
ran OK. So now the Vlado design suite is telling us we have a good IP block, we have a good test bench, and we're ready to use our project information downstream in the next step. So let's review and summarize. I showed you how to take an IP block generated from Model Composer and a test bench and bring it into the Vlado design suite. We elaborated our design, so targeting the Ultra 96 device and hardware. And we ran that through validation and behavioral simulation and everything passed. So now we're good to go for the final step. So in my next video, I'll talk about how to use Bovado Design Suite to perform synthesis implementation and actually programming an FPGA device. Thank you for listening.